Oh, I am. Yay. Okay. I like it when things work. All right. So then let's start the game. Ta da Oh, I should have looked up the point this game was from. It's very old. And I wanted to, like, tell you guys how old it was. But at any rate, I forgot. Um, and I am playing this as for the second time. I had the first one recorded, but I didn't upload it yet because I didn't do that yet. Um, this is Haunted Hotel, which I didn't actually play last time, so it is on the screen. Um, and it is a hidden object puzzle game, and it is very, very old and very, very dated. And, and what else? I don't know. It's actually a fun game considering how old it is, and it's got a decent story, which is why I'm doing it. Um, and I, and I, sorry, I wasn't texting someone. Okay, so let's play it now. I don't remember where we left off. Hello? Oh, I'm in the wrong room. Ha ha There we go. Yes. Okay. I ran into the nearest open room that I could find and slammed the door behind me, hoping it would stave off the terrible cold. It was a cozy room with a soft light, desk, cabinets, and a red cross painted on the wall, just like the rooms I had been seen before. Knowing what I had to do, I searched the contents of the desk and found a voice recorder, just like the one in the photographer's room, as well as prescription glasses and a collection of notepads. Um, this actually already got read, but I'm going to read it again. They seemed promising at first, but after I sorted through them a bit, I found that there wasn't anything in them that was of use to me. I had to dig deeper. It was a black diary that finally seemed to have something interesting on to it. This was the first entry. He occupies four rooms. What is going on there? I must find out. I will search his room first. Then I will ask my old police fellows about this scientist. The strangest thing is nothing was awry for the first year that I lived here. Not until this captain arrived. Soon after, families started disappearing from the hotel. They didn't check out. I'm sure of it. They disappeared. To be certain, I asked around, and no one had seen the guests in question leaving the hotel with their bags or even saying goodbye. I don't know that people usually say goodbye to other people in these hotels, but whatever. Um, let's see. I suspect other people are here in on this plot as well. A crazy old man from the north, the Siberian shaman. He went to his room once and didn't come out for over a month. I suspect the priest as well. He visits almost every room, but I thought people were meant to go to him and not the other way around. There's something really mysterious going on in here. Even after 10 years of being out of the police force, my gut can still sense something to this. I'll definitely visit the engineer today. I knew right away that this man had to have been a detective. And I suspected that he might have been working for the hotel as a private employee. In probing further, I noticed that after that entry, several pages seemed to have been torn out of the diary, leaving a large and shocking gap between the first entry and the next. It's madness! I may have no experience in this profession, but he must need some permission for his equipment, at least much less his experiments. Okay. I don't know what's going on here, but I feel that it is wrong and must be stopped. I have discovered that the crazy shaman has connections to the engineer as well as the sea captain. There's definitely some mastermind behind these exploits, but who could it be? The engineer seems to be the most likely candidate. Today I will flip into the shaman's room and try to figure out what his role in this is, or in this. More pages were missing after that, leaving just one more entry that could be read. I understand everything now. He has undertaken this madness. It has already been done. That's why Stein lived here for a year. This is why the crucifixes have appeared all over the walls. There are definite 
Oh, excuse me, definitely some dark forces at work here, and I fear that it may be the devil himself. Now I see their plan completely and have no thought of trying to stop them. Escaping the fate that claims the others is all I can think about now. The story the diary told raised more questions than it answered. What madness had the engineer started, and what did the occult have to do with it? Why was the shaman here? Why? There's many more questions than that, but we'll go with those. Okay, so here we are again. Um, and... Sorry, there we go again. So, basically, that was actually the end of the last bit that I played. And I left it so that I could... Oh, I'm just playing the stupid minigames again. I left it so I could just go back upstairs when this was over and not have to... Uh, repeat the next section that's going to play in the next video, but apparently I have to play mini games again. This is my least favorite mini game. If you saw the first video, which you haven't, unless you were here when I was streaming it, and I think that was one of you, <laughs> um, you will know that this game is a pain in the ass. And it's harder to get the ones on the bottom than it is to get the fast ones at the top, which is not how it should work. You also don't actually have to win these mini games to move on to the next bit, which is a little weird. Oh, I got a comment. Yay! Hello, Odd Punk. She's the one that's making me do this, everyone, so you can blame her if this is terrible. All right, here we go. I was startled out of my thoughts when the cat reappeared in the doorway, giving me a frightful start. Oh, there's a cat. A second later, the Arctic gale burst into the room, tossing the papers around me into a chaos. There's also a magic wind that's chasing him. I had gotten all, I had gotten all that I could, yeah. I had gotten all that I could from the room, so I immediately chose to drop everything and run with the Arctic gale, tormenting every step of my flight. I tried to run to the elevator, but the gale fought against me with so much force that it felt like trying to run underwater. I pressed forward with all my strength and reached for the call button as soon as I was within reach. The few moments that I had to wait for the doors to open felt as though they would stretch on forever and leave me to freeze where I stood. In the end, the doors opened and I was thrown inside and seemed safe enough when the doors closed. But what about the cat? I didn't want to leave it to the mercy of that terrifying force but couldn't bring myself to open the doors on the floor again. I moved on to the next floor, what a, whatever that was going to be, silently hoping that the cat would be all right. I still had the paper I got from the manager's room and spent my time in the lift looking over the room numbers, desperate for some secret answer. There had to be some meaning. Okay, in the last bit, he found a page with guest names and room numbers on them, and he doesn't know what that means yet. To these rooms, to these rooms being chosen. Then I had it. The last two digits of each room added up to the added up to nine. 2018, no. 2018, 30, 27, 40, 36, 50, 45. If I was right, then the next room number would be 60, 54. As soon as the elevator opened, I stepped out and confidently walked down the hall until I reached room 6054 without bothering with any other room. I took a deep breath and tried the knob, finding it to be unlocked just like the others, and let myself in. The whole room was covered with photographs and, more importantly, paintings that made it clear that an artist had occupied this room. And then, the them... The, oh, the theme of the artwork was very dark. They were all paintings of people that were suffering or shouting at the funnel cloud as, as a funnel of clouds seemed to engulf its victims. The funnel was brightly colored, as if it was tearing away its victims' cheerful realities. What if the artist had really seen this happening here? He could have been a witness. Suddenly, the pictures pinned to the wall sprang to life, violently trying to free themselves as the arctic gale rushed around the room and knocked over the easel I had been looking at last. I ran for the door again, 
noting the crucifix painted on the wall as I bolted out of the elevator. As I bolted for the elevator. By the way, they're not actually crucifixes. It's just a stripe of red paint going one way and a stripe of red paint going the other way. So they're crosses. And here we are on the next floor. Um, let's see. I don't think we did Autumn yet. This is a pretty room. See, there's rooms for each of the seasons, and they have the season uh, weather. Um, and I have to find all these things and that thing, which I think is this weird pile of books. And I have no idea what that is. Wait, is that it? No, okay. Um, Alright, so. Horseshoe. We need a mousy. There's a mousy. Springy chair? Oh, the springy chair. Frog. Gas mask. Lamp. Okay, not that kind of lamp. Is that a lamp? With a giant extension cord. Okay. RBG. Now we just have to figure out what the heck a springy chair is. What? This is that rectangle thing. Uh, is that this? Yep. Okay. The extra bonus items don't actually give you any points or anything. They just give you more time. Though I, again, don't know why someone would need 20 minutes to finish this level. Chair. That's a bin. Oh! Oh! Like an at. Okay, that's not what I would have called that. Sure, let's do the artist room because that's the one in the story. Okay, so now we need pencils. Oh, I think I forgot something else. Pencils. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, Alright, I don't see the cup right away, so let's see. A rose. That's a daisy. Rose. What else? Scissors. Oh, there's scissors. Chalkboard. <coughs> Writing slate. Uh, shape brush. There we go. Binoculars. Lots of cameras in this game as things to find. And no cell phones, because I think this happened before people had cell phones. <laughs> okay, I don't think it's that old, but that's not... Okay, good. Oh, there's the rose. Um, there's lots of, like, old-fashioned e-phones, but... It's supposed to be like it's in the 50s, but there's a lot of stuff in these rooms that are definitely not from the 50s. <clears throat> the older games like this weren't very, um... They weren't very accurate, and they didn't really need to be. Oh, there's an A. So, it didn't... Oh, it's a crown. It looks like the paint on the top of a paint can. Saver. Mask. The, um, so they have all kinds of weird stuff in here, like there's a samurai sword, and a butterfly, and a teapot, and a soldering iron. Thank you, cat. I don't know what that is, it looks like an octopus. Uh, oh, we have to find the kitty cat. I should be paying attention. Teddy bear, and a fire extinguisher. There we go. Newer games will have the stuff in the room be relevant to what's happening in the story. Um, this one does not. And I need a turtle. Turtle, 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 turtle. He's under the umbrella. How cute. And a fish. Fishy. Um, what else? I should stop saying, um, it's probably not a thing that's going to happen, though. Photos, scissors, coins, thermometer, that's not a thermometer, looks like a thermometer, oh there's a thermometer, ah, this was the last one, so I didn't need to find all of the things, I only have a certain number that I need to find.
and I forgot to look for the scissors. All right, mini game time, and then we get to go up to the next floor. Let's do energy because it's fun, even though I'm not good at it. Just gotta get it stupid. Ah! <laughs> oh wow, I'm really sucking at this right now. It's not the worst I've ever done, maybe. Let's see if it's the worst I've ever done. Oh, that's pretty bad! Oh, 26 percent Oh, I got a bunch of double squats, though. I don't know how to do that. Okay, that's not the worst I've ever done. So, worst hit percentage was like in the 20s. And then we have match three, which is basically Candy Crush. Except this one, this one wasn't actually in the last video I did. Except, let's see if it does it this time. Like the first time I played this, it dropped them and repeatedly got matches till I was like halfway up before I could even take my first. I got a combo. Who likes matching games? I like matching games. Well, I like certain matching games. I like not the original Candy Crush, but I used to play that. I like Candy Crush with friends at the moment. And so does Sokka. It's pretty good. And I know people who like Hoonie Pop, which is also a matching game, supposedly. I'm sure that's exactly why everybody plays that game. This is not interesting. Pretty flowers, though. Each level that you do this, I don't think it gets harder. It's not going to do anything. See, this is what I'm talking about. Ultimate combo! I didn't do anything! Oh, I win. Okay. There we go. Going up the elevator to floor seven? No, to floor eight. Even though I think there's going to be seven on with the story. Hello, Erudite. Much to my amazement, I spotted the priest in the hall. Hey, wait! I cried desperately, but he took off around a corner. By the time I got there and looked down the corridor, no one was there, as if he had just just disappeared. One word. As I was standing there and peered down, peering down the hall, the priest had run down. I felt a brush against my leg. The cat had made it back! Yay! Everybody, the cat is okay. I know I'm live, I said that. I felt a burst of joy and relief as the cat meowed and rubbed against my ankles. Yay, kitty cat is okay. We don't know if the priest is a good guy or a bad guy at this point. Oops, that's my time to go to bed alarm. I should probably turn that off. Hold on a moment. There we go. Okay. So, where are we going now? Well, we heard about the engineer. Let's go to the engineer's room. I can't remember if we were in this in the last one or not. Okay, so we need a stamp and a burger. This is not a burger. At best, this is a chicken sandwich, maybe. There is no burger meat on this burger. Maybe a fish sandwich. It kind of just looks like ham and cheese on a bun, though. Um, iron. Horseshoe. That's not a horseshoe. There's a horseshoe. Pocket watch. Band-Aid. Hey, isn't that a name brand? You can get sued for saying stuff like that. Apple. Hourglass. Actually, it's funny. The, there's a decent amount of things in these games as a whole, not in specific ones. Oh wait, I have to get the creepy little thing here I found. I found a clue! It's not a clue, it's just a mini game. But there's a decent, going back to what I was saying, there's a decent amount of, um, 
not plagiarizing exactly, uh, but like like tracing and then saying it's your own work for certain items. Like, um, I don't, I haven't seen any Disney characters in any of, any of these, but I've seen some, um, artwork that I've seen other places. Let's go to the basement, even though we're on the seventh floor, eighth floor, we're on the eighth floor. Picture frame. I don't know if I have seen any stuff like that in this game. I already played through this game once. I don't know if I said that in this one. I said it in the last one. Um, so, I have seen most of it already. That's a frog, not a rat. Where's the rat? Let's do that. Um, what else is going on here? Phone. Phone. Let's see, old phone. Rat. Umbrella. It's right there. Fire alarm. Belief hat. I think this game was made in Europe. Um, they say lift instead of elevator a few times. There's that police hat. Can I use that at the end? No, that is in fact an end though. Padlock. Propeller. Oh, there's eyeballs up there. That's not the rat though. Photo camera. As opposed to what? Ah, there's rat. <clears throat> room complete. Alright, so this is the captain's room. There's a sea captain in this for some reason. I I got through the whole game and I have no idea what he has to do with any of it. Um, it's a very weird plot. It's kind of cool though, which is why I decided to play this one as the live stream. Because it has the story itself, not necessarily the game, has a lot of potential to be interesting. As like, I don't know, kind of like a creepypasta, probably more than like a full-out story. But it's, I think it would be, it could be really good. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Is it fish? Is you a fish? No, you're a shark. I mean, sharks are in fact fish, but okay. Well, it is fish. Mop buckets. I have ADHD and did not take my medicine today. So if this is all over the place, that might be why. Army helmet. Oh, there it is. That is a German army helmet. Is that the logbook? No. There's a boot. Oh, there's a logbook. Cat. My family wants to get a cat in the near future. I agree with them. We actually probably would have gotten one in the spring if, you know, the whole COVID thing hadn't happened and everything closed. Ah, the Witcher Room. This is actually the first room that you go to in the game. And a perfectly round ball. Oh, soccer ball. Okay. Oh. I didn't click on that on purpose. I couldn't figure out what that was for the longest time, but it is an ice cream bar! And now I want ice cream. That ice cream bar, the, 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 it looks like a haagen one. They are really good. Microphone. There's an ugly Santa. What else? A warning. Warning. Phone. Again. Weird. Oh, this one's good. This one's good. Bicycle. That's a bicycle, right? With four wheels. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. A lot of times these games are made in other countries, and it's funny what ends up being translated as the names of the items. Or then you'll get um, groups that will do, like, super specific items. And it's like, I don't even know what that thing is. How am I supposed to look up for it? Each time you play the match game, it has a different item. I like mini games as a general rule of thumb, but these ones seem kind of like low effort, I guess. 
So again, I don't remember when this was made. Maybe it's super high up for some time. I kind of miss how the, um, the older games are really plot heavy. The newer games tend to be all about the kind of coolness of the game mechanics instead, which is fun. Um, and the art style. The art in the newer games, uh, the, the hidden object puzzle games, are really good. But I do miss the more story heavy aspects of Code Lock. Which one's this? Oh, this game. I think it should be illegal to have one of those games, the, the Simon Says games, wherein the sounds are all the same. Seems rude somehow. Floor 9. Next to the cat, there was a box tied shut with twine. Curious, I picked it up and opened it, discovering a page from the detective diary inside. Okay. I looked down to thank the cat, but it had already vanished again. Knowing that I wasn't entirely safe in the open hallway, I took the page with me into the elevator and waited until the doors were closed before reading it. Examination of Stein's rooms has shown that he was definitely conducting some experiments. All his rooms are interconnected with his machines and devices in, in working and his machines and devices in working parallel. Okay. I've also found some of his papers and understand the sense of all of this. This man wants to control the weather! A mad meteorologist? In some absurd way, I believe he controls the weather. Okay. He can create winter, summer, and fall, whatever he wants to inside those rooms. Normally, I would never believe that this is possible, but I walked in while it was raining in one of the rooms. I still don't understand why he made it work in the hotel, or what the shaman's part is in the story. One of Stein's machines is connected with the shaman's room. I have to understand the system as a whole. So that's how the Arctic Gale was following me around. This mad scientist had created a weather machine. However, the tree growing out of the painting was still a puzzle. I felt dizzy, as if my head would explode from absorbing all of this information. There was so much to think about that my thoughts raced around in my head like a storm within myself. But one thought rose above the rest. I had to stop the machine. Perhaps if I could find and turn off this infernal machine, I would be able to find a way out. It's only now starting to confuse you. Uh, let's try Travelers. I don't think we were in that room yet. Oh, look, a hockey mask. Creepy. Alright, so we got a cactus. Oh, we even find a kitty. Kitty in a pop hat. Boom. Is that a, no, that's not another cat, is it? That looks like a mouse. This. <clears throat> um, what else? Soccer ball. Three eyes. One eye. Two eyes. Three eyes. Two books. One, two, basketball, iron cross. A lot of German stuff in this. I wonder if this is made in Germany. Horseshoe. Horseshoe. Skull. Oh, I saw the skull. There it is. And the spoon. I did not see the spoon. It's probably somewhere I'm not looking. Which sounds dumb, but like, you can look at these puzzles and like never look at this one spot because you're looking everywhere else and there can be something just lying there and you'll never find it. Sort of like, I'm not finding this damn spoon. Where are you, spoon? Alright, where is it? Now it's starting to annoy me. Alright, rather than bore you all. Oh, for heaven's sake. I should have seen that. Ooh, complete. What should we do next? Um, writer. I can't remember if we did this from yesterday or not either. Let's see, that looks like... Oh, no. 
not a photo. No, I don't know what that is. Okay. Yeah. Moving along. Padlock. I will not whistle. Sorry, I whistle a lot. It annoys my children. So then my son starts to whistle and now he annoys me. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I didn't mean to click yes. I don't even like this game. See what I mean about the top row? Super easy. And I think they really intended that one. Oh, there's that thing. To be the hardest part, but it is not. Alright, let's see. What else do we have on here? A tennis ball. Roller. That's the roller. Butterfly. Radio. Wine glass. This is not a wine glass. These are wine glasses. You know, that could be a wine glass. Cannon. Cannon. Elephant. Where's the elephant? Where's the frog? And a turtle. What else are they looking for? Padlock and alarm clock. Do 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 yeah, we were definitely using it already. So, the first time I was in this room, I spent the entire time looking for the chess set, which is right in the middle of the room. So, oh, another ice cream bar. Ice cream bar, ice cream bar. No, I'm not. I want to munch on food. That is not the same thing as being hungry. Oh, there he is. Wow. Good job, Brain. Alright, and oops, bottom. Would it be cool to have, like, plants growing out of paintings? Is that not the right one? That certainly does look like that. Oh, that's that. Voltometer, voltmeter, voltometer, whatever. Meat grinder, oh, there's the mushrooms. Don't eat wild mushrooms. Oh, one, two, two. That's another thing that kind of annoys me about this game. So in old, newer games, you click on one thing and you can immediately click on the next. So this one, you have to wait till the word disappears first. And sometimes I'll click on something and then move on to the next thing and not realize that it didn't actually 
register because I clicked too fast. Flower. Dice. I never see polyhedron dice in these games. It's always like just regular rolling dice. I guess not a lot of gaming nerds work on uh, making find it puzzles. What's that supposed to be? Huh. Spring chair again. Sure, whatever. What is it? Triangle. You're not a triangle. You're a square. That's static, by the way. That just happened. Was not me. That's the game. So, just so you know. All right. I need a here and the meat grinder. I'm also playing this because it's so old. I'm playing it in a window instead of full screen. And it's like 25% of my screen, so if I can't see things, and that is why I'm normally slightly better at finding things. <laughs> oh, there's the meat grinder. Sheesh. Alright. Oh, do the code lock. I moved on to the seventh floor. Okay. I moved on to the seventh floor immediately. My calculations leading me to believe that the next door of importance would be 7063. I kicked the door and stared in amazement. This room reminded me of the inside of a ship, which meant this had to be the captain's room. The floor was littered with chests reminiscent of buried treasure, as well as various maritime souvenirs. Laying at, laying at me feet? Okay. Was a folded newspaper that I picked up and opened to the front page. The language was indecipherable to me. It seemed like it was from somewhere in the Pacific, perhaps Micronesia, but the pictures were clear enough to me. There was a photo of a stone artifact and some numbers below it that looked like a reward offer. At the bottom of the same article, there was a startling picture of a seafaring vessel, just like the one that was hanging on the wall in the captain's room. I thought the paper was a souvenir to a heist that the captain had pulled off involving that artifact, which could have been from some voodoo ritual. I don't think those things are in the same part of the world. Um, I looked back to the floor, wondering if there was any more to the newspaper I had picked up, and discovered that in the short time that had passed, a thick fog had covered the floor up to my shins. I rushed out of the room in search of where the fog was coming from and felt my heart stop in a moment's terror, blocking my passage to the elevator with the gale in the form of a monstrous cloud. As I stood there staring, the horrific fog seemed to become aware of me, and I knew in that moment that I wouldn't be able to run through it, so I ran away from it. The cloud seemed to fold over itself in ominous pursuit as, it, as I bolted around the corner and saw in a heartbeat that I was running towards a dead end. It seemed hopeless, hopeless, but wasn't going to let that defeat me. If I could just get into another room before the cloud saw me, it could buy time, the time I needed to find a way to sneak past it. As fast as I could, I tried to reach the door, but time after time, the doors were locked. When I got to the last door, I had no choice left but to try desperately to kick it in, and after a few tries, the door gave in to my will to live. Okay. Leaning against the door to keep it shut, I noticed that this room was rather dark, but I could still tell there was something different about it. I pulled the flashlight from my jacket and flicked it on and flicked it on to illuminate what could what I could of the room. Okay, brain, come on. The floor wasn't carpeted and there seemed to be storage shelves here instead of desks instead of desks and were stocked with personal items like golf clubs suitcases, and children's toys. As I surveyed the contents of the shelves, I spotted a hatch above one of them. Maybe it led to the next floor, one would think. I scrambled across the room and climbed up the shelves like a monkey. 
It was a tight squeeze to get through the hatch and at an odd angle as well, but I made it through alive. As I reached down to close the hatch behind me, I found a torn piece of paper that was not unlike the pages of the detective's diary. I pocketed it quickly and pulled the hatch closed. I would have time later to read my new clue. Okay. So we're gonna go to the captain's room. We're already there, actually. These like little fish that are floating down, or are those supposed to be leaves? I can't see in my screen because it's too small. And another key cat. All right, circle. That is a compass and a sextant. All right, let's see. Mushroom, ladybug, and light bulb. Where's the ladybug? Let's see. Oh, there's another clue, quote unquote. Oh, there's a mushroom. A oh, poisonous mushroom. Let's see. Spyglass. I just saw the spyglass. Dang it, where did I see it? Oh, I'm whistling again. No whistling. Because that's probably very piercing. <laughs> oh, there's a bottle. Toy car. Screwdriver. In most of these kind of games, um, when you find, when you do these find it games, um, they usually have at least one item from the scene that ends up being used as an item in another part of the game. This one is old enough that they don't do that, which means it is rather old because pretty much all of them do that now. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure the second game in this series does do that. Did we go into the spies room yet? I think we did at the last game. A dictaphone. Wow, I wonder if anyone knows what that is anymore. Um, oh, and a telephone. Telephone. And a hat. And a microphone. Lots of phones in this game. Or room, rather. A dictaphone and a wooden box. That is now that's leather. Up oh, there's a wooden box. Two radios. There's lots of cameras in this room. Great. Nope, that's not a radio. Is that a radio? Nope. All these things look like radios. Okay, that was definitely was a radio. That's definitely a radio though. A dictaphone? No, I just clicked on it and nothing happened. Flashlight. I love this camera here. That's silly business. <laughs> a wheel. Pen, knife, lamp. See a lamp anywhere? Lamp. That's a lamp. That's a lamp, right guys? Stupid game. Alright, propeller. There's a tape player. Pen and a knife. I thought I saw a pen. Maybe not. So, oh, there it is. Yep, I can see a pen. Oh, and there's a knife. And a lamp, and a flashlight, and a radio. Except that's not a lamp. And that's not a radio. That's a we don't need a cassette tape. That's not a radio. That's not a radio. That's a camera. That's not a radio. Okay, this looks kind of a cool radio, actually. Alright, but where's the lamp and the flashlight, then? Because that's not a lamp, even though it's totally a freaking lamp. Oh, there's a flashlight. Alright. That's the lamp. Where's the one that you... Really? Couldn't even see the bottom of that one. Occasionally, these games will... Um, oh, we can go in the shaman's room. We didn't do that in this stream yet. This is the shaman's room. Apparently, he likes stuffed animals. And... Tools? 
I'm not entirely sure what's going on in this room. And see, it's a shaman's room because it's got drums, I assume. Actually, that's more like a tambourine, not a drum. I don't think they were trying to be super accurate about the stuff. Footprints are always on the wall in every game. Seashells tend to be on the wall, too, actually. Star could be anywhere. Was it starfish? No, nope, that doesn't count. Barbecue fork. Butterfly. Two scrolls. <clears throat> Scroll, 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 scroll. Is that a scroll? No, that's a piece of paper. That was a weird noise. Hmm. Up oh, there's a scroll. And I need a star. Or another scroll. Star should count. Up oh, there's a star, right in front of me. Now where's the last scroll? I keep looking in the same spots, and I know the stuff's not there. The the more busy a picture is, the harder, obviously, it is to find things. But the more your eye tends to jump to the same places over and over again, which makes it even harder to find things. There it is. See? I was staring right at that thing, but I didn't look down at the bottom. Ah, uh, detective room? I don't think we went in this one in the stream either. Organizer. This whole room is an organizer. Is it? Nope. That must be a notebook. Is that an organizer? Nope. Oh, and a kettlebell. Which is right there. And a saxophone. And whatever the hell that is. Some sort of a jar with maybe a candle over? Oh. A guitar, a scarf, almost surf weather here, well, not almost, but closer than it has been. Shotgun, I thought that said shot glass, but those were the two words next to each other. Chisel, that's a boomerang. I almost started whistling again. I'm not good at not whistling, apparently. I suppose it helps my mind work. <laughs> at least that's what I'm going to tell myself. Probably just because I'm ADHD all the time. Alright, so we need a glass jar, an organizer, and a chisel. What the heck's an organizer? Like, specifically. I don't know what that is. See, this looks more like an organizer than that, and that's not it either. Camera, cigar, lions, paper. That's a hammer. I don't know what that is. Oh, there's the organizer. Okay, fair. That did in fact look like an organizer. Glass, jar, and a chisel. That's not glass. That's ceramic. Is this it? Oh, there we go. That looks like a cup, but fine. And a chisel. That's a bottle opener. Corkscrew, rather. Oh, there it is. Ta da! That looks more like. Well, I guess it looks like a chisel. Kind of looks more like an awl. Spring! A. What is that? Oh, I know what that is. Glory played this game. It's a soldering iron. I think the teeth on that saw are upside down. As a matter of fact, I know the teeth on that saw are upside down. Weird. Okay. So, what are we actually looking for? Candle. Scissors. Service 
spell. No, nope, that's an oil can. Do I need an oil can? No. There it is. Uh, trash can. Oh no, my computer's doing a stupid thing. Gloves. Gloves. I forgot to turn that off before I started this. Um. Alright, hang on. I hope I don't lose all y'all. I'll be right back. Okay. Are we good? Are we still there? We're doing stupid mini games, so if we're not still there, you're not missing much. <laughs> I have my computer set. Yeah, you're still here, or yeah, I'm not missing much. I mean, you're not missing much. I have my computer set so a blue light filter comes on at 8.30 to remind me. Okay, I'm glad you're still here. Um, to remind me that it's getting time to go to bed and to help my eyes. Except when you're playing Find It games and suddenly the screen gets darker and turns an odd color, it's really hard to find things. So... Yay, I win! And we do ropes. Well, that was the easiest one. Jeez. Alright, let's see what awaits us on the next floor. What did we do last? We went up a hatch. The new room I found myself in was hot. I peered through the window and it seemed like the summer sun was beating down on my weary body. The air in the room was so oppressive that it made it difficult to breathe while I took the time to read my new clue. You could go in a different room. After visiting the shaman, I think I understand their entire system. They used the artifact that the captain brought to the shaman's in the shaman's room. That they used the artifact that the captain brought in the shaman's room. Shaman, not shaman. Somehow the shaman makes it work by receiving something from all four of the engineer's machines. At the same time, one for each season. Then this infernal machine starts to work and something begins to happen to our world. Apparently they also need people, preferably creative ones, with strong inner energy. I think they made special arrangements, special arrangements with the hotel. Yeah, with the hotel's manager to have their victims placed in special rooms. I don't know who I should and shouldn't trust. You've only seen one person, dude. The priest, maybe? One word. He will help? What evil did they intend? What are they planning? The math scientist was definitely the culprit. The scientist, the shaman, and the captain were using the hotel guests as fuel. Suddenly, I had a very large, a very, I'm sorry, suddenly I had a very unpleasant thought. I, too, could be used as a battery for their infernal machine. The Gale turned fog entity could have been trying to devour me as an energy source. My only friend on this voyage was the priest. He must have been trying to ward off the evil they brought to this place. Somehow I had to get out, or get him to help me do it. The searing heat made me start to swoon. I clearly couldn't take any take the heat anymore and would have to take my chances in the hallway. I peered out the door and down the hall to see that the fog was there, but it had already passed my room. I was free and clear to run to the elevator. I don't know why you'd have a hatch from a storage room leading into a regular room, but that's probably not the weirdest thing about this. Who else is here? Is three people here? Hello, third person. Lurks. Lurks. Ah ha ha. I get that. Oops, I clicked on something again. Oh no! There we go. Sorry. I need to not click on things because then it messes everything up. Okay, where was I? Uh, which room didn't we do yet? We didn't do stairs yet. Oh, there's a squiggle box. A clue! No, I do not want to play that right now. A Buddha? Sure, why not? Hourglass. These older games tend to have some slightly not politically correct things about them. Like having a shaman from somewhere that does voodoo, but it's in the, the 
specific somewhere, which I don't think is a thing. I might be wrong, but... And they often mix a lot of different... Um, like, if they have an Asian theme place, it'll be like Chinese and Japanese stuff decorated in the same room as if it was one or the other, for example. Or they have things that are kind of just not okay. This one doesn't really have a lot of that. I've seen some that are just like, wow, those are for another like let's play. I should probably play some that are like actually good too, because there's some really good ones. I actually have made a list, because I've been playing these for a while, and I copied down all the ones on Big Fish. And then I am going through them in alphabetical order and playing them, which tells you how much free time I have in my life. Or how bored I am, one or the other. Or both. Why not both? Um, so, I have a list of ones that would be really cool to play. I also have a lot that I haven't done yet, and I have not actually looked. There we go. I was like looking at all of the stuff without actually looking at all the stuff. Angel. They said chair of angel. Plant. That's not a plant. That's a plant. That's actually a cactus, but sure. Actually, it might have been a jade plant. I wasn't really looking. Hanger. Padlock. Yep. Now, this game does the thing. Actually, most games do this. Sometimes, obviously, you go to different rooms more than once in a game, or different areas if they're not rooms. And when you do a find it, you find the things and they disappear from the page, but when you come back, they're back again. And most games do that because it makes it harder to find things, but if they reuse any of the items, you know where they are. And also, I find it a lot more rewarding to like get rid of everything on the screen or as much as they're going to have me get rid of, um, as opposed to just like finding stuff and then the next time I go back, it's there again, unless the flashlight. I remember that from the first time I played through. Like, where's that flashlight? Oh, square. Let's go to summer. Summer. Summer is ending here. Which I am happy about because I'm done with summer. Though I guess this year it's going to be kind of a little bit different than it normally is because we're, summer's going to be over. It's going to get into fall and then winter. And we're not going to be able to go anywhere, and you're not going to be able to have people over, and that's kind of depressing. Because right now, like, you can go over someone's house and, like, hang out in their yard far away, but in the middle of winter, that's not actually going to be a thing you're going to want to do. Which is sad. Stupid pandemic disease interrupting my visiting people. I just realized today that I haven't been in someone else's house since March. I haven't been to my parents' house, who live very close to me, since March. I don't think before now there was a period of more than a month where I hadn't been to my parents' house. And, like, that was the longest stretch, and I think that was generally because, um, somebody in the house was sick, and then somebody else got sick, and then somebody else got sick. Like, aside from that, I basically was at their house at least once a week-ish. So it's kind of weird to think about that I haven't been in their house in almost a year. Well, it's not almost a year. It's like three quarters of a year. All right. I have to stop talking and look at stuff, though, because I'm not paying attention. Oh, there's a frog. He was in them. There's a, a salamander or a newt. Newt is a cool word. Where is the last camera? Oh, it's right there. Handprint. Yes. Oh, another ice cream pop. Yum. It's a kitty cat with glasses and a pipe. You should smoke, kitty cat. It is bad for you. 
Y'all shouldn't smoke either. Smoking is bad for you. Just so we're clear. Two bags. One. Do, 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 do. I thought I saw another one. I probably did. Look, see, there's a footprint on the, on the vertical surface. I don't get it. They're always on a vertical surface. Guitar. Brush. Ceramic face. Oh, I found that last time. Gun. That's a gun. Ah, see? This one thing. You can't actually see me. Gesticulating. Um, this is a gun, right? Nope, it's not a gun. Oh, there's the other bag, though. So then I just find a different gun. Oh, see, that's a gun, as opposed to this. Maybe handgun? Alright, band-aid and brush. I guess band-aid is probably copyright infringement as a thing. I'm pretty sure that's a boy's bunny, but I'm not positive. I know I know what it's from. It might be gun. But I know I've seen it in the store before. Why am I not looking for anything? Do 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 Where's the scissor? Hey, there's a kitty cat in the corner. Hiding kitty cat. I wonder when they make these, if they're told what kind of things to put in, or if they just say, hey, fill this room up with random stuff. Or if they like have to go hunting for assets for like this giant list of things. Why can't I find either the band-aid or the brush? You would think I'd be able to find one of them. Where am I not looking? Is that a band-aid? Oh, that's just a sticker. An old-fashioned telephone. Shush. I think I ever had a phone that sounded like that, you know, when I was really little. Not me personally, obviously, my family. Okay, I think about where I might not find. Oh, geez, that I should have seen. Alright, where's the brush? <laughs> it's not up there. I think there's something there, but I don't know what it is. There's a tie, magnifying glass, bust, books. Radio. Nope, not a typewriter. Cash register, that's the word I'm looking for. Oh, maybe it's like a paintbrush? Maybe that's why I'm not saying it. I need someplace skinny. Maybe I'm just really bad at this game. Oh, yeah, that's a paintbrush and it's right at the corner of the desk. Holy crap. Alright, and we're back in fall. Oh, I don't have to find the crows this time. Or ravens. I don't know if crows or ravens. I can't tell if the ravens are too small. I think they're crows. Alright, where was I? Oh, here. Oh, I thought I turned my alarm on. Alarm. Okay. Police hack. Oh, that's a sailboat. Sailboat. Shackles. Oh, the hanger's right there. Violin. There's the violin. Two radios. One. That's not a radio. That's not a radio. There's a radio. Two. Old fashioned radios were really cool looking. That's a camera, not a phone. What is the phone? That is a meter. Electrical meter, I believe. Could be a water meter, I guess. Ah, uh, hammer. Hammer. Bottle and a lantern. It's a lantern. That's not a bottle, that's a bowling pin. That's, I still don't know what that is. That is a weird looking thingy doodle. Alright. So we're looking for a phone and a folding ruler. There's the folding ruler. Oh, I guess I didn't need to find the phone. Ooh, energy game. That's the energy game. 
more fun than the other one. It's like it actually has a bit of skill involved instead of luck. Maybe that's why it's more fun. The other one is kind of all luck based, except for the, the sound one. Simon says. Not that I'm good at this game, but oh wow, actually that's not bad. Uh, I mean it's better than last time. Yeah, Ropes. Ropes is kind of fun, but most of them are really easy. And word machine. I hate this game. And now I've played it like four times, because I played it originally when I bought it. And then I played it through the other day before I decided I was going to stream things. And now I'm playing it, that's only three. And now I'm playing it now. Still. Like, not three times, I guess it's a bunch of times, but like... You know what I mean. Yay, I win! Let's see where we go now. I was ready to run to the elevator, but I noticed that the room across from me was number 8072. I definitely had to go in and look for more clues, so I cautiously crept across the way and let myself in. It was dark and brooding place, in the usual disarray that I had come to expect from this place, and the floor littered with alcohol bottles and books. In the center of the room there was a pair of glasses abandoned on the floor, and books and papers and pens covered the desk, leading me to believe that a writer had <laughs> been here. Because alcohol bottles, right? Writers drink a lot. Okay. When I went to the desk, I found the last entry in the writer's notebook. It was grim, but by, but by, I had grown to expect it. Okay. I tore the page from the book and took it with me to the elevator so I could read it without fear of the fog catching me by surprise again. It's very unusual to be in this room because it's like being in another world. I see one world out my window while I stand within another. At first I didn't understand and thought this was happening just to me, but now some people have disappeared. No, they didn't just disappear. I saw them and heard their screams. I saw them everywhere and nowhere, in the darkness and in eternity. Who could guess that eternity is pitch black? Not so often I can see color spots, but not everyone will survive to see them too. That didn't make sense. It's not for everyone. This is light in eternity. I am the chosen one. Am I the chosen one? Or is this my punishment for all the bad things I've ever done? It all began here that day in our hotel. There, starting with that terrible cold wind, that mist. Then the hotel began to shake, but there was no escape for me. Because the mist already had me in its grip, dragging me into the darkness. There were screams and prayers ringing out all around me. But the most terrifying thing was that within the hotel, everything was still normal. To those who had not been touched, people could walk the halls, and the staff continued to work. But at the same time, I saw how people were flying into the darkness. Darkness unknown? Okay. I became part of this terrifying cold mist, too. I follow it and call other people to join me in its steps. I can see myself laying in the center of my room, but I can't do anything. It was another terrible tale to confirm my suspicions of the evil plan that the scientist and his cohorts were carrying out in that space. Scientist being the engineer, I assume. Somehow this place was used to travel through time, though I hadn't seen any of the culprits anywhere. Could it be that they were consumed by their own creation? Whatever happened, I knew that I had to get out soon or I would be trapped in this on a sinking ship. I guess, sort of. Why is there a picture of a cat there? Cat's not in this one. Okay, where am I now? Well, let me go back to the writer's room. Big alcohol bottles on the floor, papers everywhere. Definitely a writer. Also, I don't know if that's a cactus plant. I think it might not be. Not that anybody cares. Oh, picture frame. And a weird candle holder. Okay. Toy house, oil can, wristwatch, dumbbell. Not very nice game. Oh, there it is. Wine, axe, jug, lighter. Oh, no, 
The scratchy noise, like static in the background that just happens randomly, is not helping my confidence when it comes to me streaming this stupid thing. Not that I have, like, the greatest microphone in the world either. It's part of my headset. I do be need a better mic. You are correct. But also this game just has radix random static in it, which makes it slightly more difficult to tell if I'm being staticky. What? Oh, wow, that is a lighter. Okay. I don't know what I thought that was. Alright, where should we go next? Did we do the attic yet? Nope, we didn't do the attic yet in this game. Alright, or... Or, 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 or. That light there is very irritating, so I assume that's the point. Ooh, boot. Do I do boot? There's a boot. That doesn't work, though. Oh, there's a boot. And a briefcase. Or, oh, no, suitcase. And whatever that is. Oh, a milking jug. Weird assortment of things to have in a hotel. There are a lot of weapons in this hotel, too. I would just like to point out. Like, I don't know what the people here think, but, like... Definitely too many weapons for a hotel. Oh look, here's the bike again. The four-wheeled bike. Sheesh. Oh, wait, there's a clue in here. Da -da. No, I do not want to play the clue. Oh, that's the last thing. Oh no, we played that one the last one. The next, the, 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 the clue I just got is a puzzle which I played in the last game, but you guys didn't see that yet, except if you watched me yesterday, which I guess is a third of you. Stock room. See, this room looks like a stock room, just stocked with very weird things. Okay, we and some keys, and a very small car. There we go. Baseball bat. Actually, this sort of looks like a weird lost and found. With lettuce in it for some reason. Okay, base. Base. And a pot. Pot. Gift. Dart. I guess the ra random noises are supposed to be for ambiance or to like startle you out of your concentration, which works like the first time you hear it, and then afterwards it's like, yeah, something broke, yeah, squeezy floor behind me. And I guess that's a mouse, whatever that was. I hope. Probably more like a squirrel than a mouse. Thermometer and a dart. There's a thermometer. Where's the dart? Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Oh, all y'all haven't seen the bridal suite yet. Look, it's the bridal suite. <laughs> it's a very high class hotel. <laughs> all right, there we go. Can you imagine that wallpaper like that had to have existed at some point in time and probably was used? by more than one person in their home. Isn't that bizarre? Alright, now what am I actually doing here? Bracelet, oh, teacups, in a sack. Champagne. That's not champagne, that's flowers. There's the champagne. A lemon for some reason. Necktie. Red envelope. Bells. Bells. And a feather. But the feather is not on the birds, because that would be too easy. Up oh, there's a feather. <clears throat> I forget what floor we're on. I wish we had that somewhere 
on the thing here. The engineer, who's also the scientist, whose name is Stein, but that only comes up twice. Why is there? Oh, because it's Frankenstein. That's why Stein comes up so much. I was just gonna say Stein comes up an awful lot as a name for scientists. I just put that together. My favorite Stein is from Soul Eater. He's crazy. Why am I not finding it? Oh, there's a puzzle piece. Valve. Binocular amplifier. In what way? Like a microphone? Like a speaker? Oh, like, yeah, like an amp. Maybe? No? I don't see one. I don't know. Paper clip. I wonder how B. How B. I wonder how hard it would be to set something like this up in real life. Like, have a room where you just have per uh, someone stand in a certain spot and they have to find all the items. I don't think anyone would ever want to do that but me. <laughs> Alright. Let's stick a flashlight. Okay. Hourglass? Feather amplifier and a flashlight. Not a flashlight, that's a light bulb. I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I think that's the inside of a clock. Weird. Is that it? What about this? No. Okay. See now. I should have seen one of them. Oh, I wonder if it's not looking for a stupid square flashlight again. Flashlights shouldn't be square. They should have a different name then. They should be square lights. Yep, there it was. I was right. Feather is probably some place that Actually, I have no idea where the feather is. All right, let's get a hint. I clicked on that. That is another thing that annoys me in games. When I when if you click on something and you just miss it, or your click slips, or you did click on it but it's like not in its hitbox, that's very irritating. That happens to me a lot, but that might just be because I click too fast. I assume if that was a bigger problem. Can I get another hint? Oh, wow. I wouldn't have found that at all. Why is my phone continuing to go off? Alright, basement. Shoes. Oh, there's the shoes. And a turtle, which actually blends in really well with the floor. Okay, now we need goblets and a brick. There are bricks everywhere. Oh, there's like a real brick. A saw. I see what I saw. Two flashlights. There's one. And a cannon. It's always nice to get rid of a big thing because then you can see around it better. A padlock and a rat. There's the frog. We found the rat last time. <laughs> Where was it? Oh, there we go. That's how you can tell I don't cheat at this game. Because <laughs> I don't remember from like, oh, that's a flashlight. See, that's like one of those old fashioned like emergency. Beacons, not a really a flashlight. Okay, let's play code lock first. Uh. 
and then word machine because I hate it. I'll do the puzzle. Apparatus is the word for today. See what I mean about this? every other time I played. Oh, here's another one of these weird paintings. So, again, for those of you who didn't watch my stream yesterday, this is the, the last game that they have. And it's a puzzle, except it's a painting. This, this doesn't actually, like, improve the clarity of anything. It's just this is black and white, and the puzzle pieces are in color. And for some reason, Almost all of the picture is blurry. It's like it's supposed to be like an impressionist painting, except that's the wrong thing. For the kitty cat, which there are at least three or four in each picture, but I don't understand the point of that exactly. Like, it's almost like they took a piece of art from the internet somewhere and just blurred it out so they could use it and then added cats? Question mark? I don't know why you would do that. I'll get real precise with this. And I don't like it. And go back in here. There we go. Go on. No, you don't go there either. Good job, me. Um, yeah, rather weird. Painting, but at the same time, it looks very weird that part of it is um, that part of it is clear and part of it is blurry. And like that makes sense, like as a perspective kind of thing. But this is not perspective related. That cat is clear as day, and that table is like somebody drew it with pastels. Look at this one. This is a better example. This kitty cat. Like, he's just, like, sitting, hanging out in this impressionist painting for some reason. I mean, maybe that's the thing cats like to do. If anybody was going to just randomly hang out in paintings, I assume it would be cats. They kind of just seem to go wherever they want. We watched Coraline with my kids yesterday. Yeah, that was yesterday. And um, my middle kid loved it. He thought it was the greatest thing ever. Because it was so weird. And you couldn't get over how crazy it was. So that was a very big success. And the cat in that one is very much like that, where he can just go wherever he wants, whenever he wants. So tell me this picture isn't weird, now that I've gotten most of it together. Like there's this lady sitting over here in the corner, and this dude, and there's a piano, and the rest of the room is empty. Open to 
the ninth floor, I could see the fog waiting at the opposite end of the corridor. I was struck by a wind so strong that I could hardly stand. I banged the elevator controls to try and close the door, but it was no use. It wasn't going anywhere. Left with no other choice, I ran to the nearest door and let myself in. I was greeted by a breeze of far fairer, of a far fairer sort than the gale-turned fog. This one smelled of oak and had natural leaves dancing in its gentle gusts. A crack of thunder filled the air, and I realized that this was another one of the engineer's seasonal grooms. I didn't dare run back into the hall while the fog was out there, so I decided to try the door that connected the room to the next. As soon as I crossed the threshold to the adjoining room, the autumn breeze ended and I was left alone in a dark room. Candles dotted the room, flickering and causing shadows to dance eerily on the walls, revealing the then wait, revealing and then hiding the many crucifixes crosses that decorated the entire room. Handwritten notes were plastered all over the walls with passages from the Bible and verse numbers scrawled over them. Normally, I would be comfortable in a priest's room, but somehow this space, yeah, somehow this place felt like a bad omen. Hesitantly, I began looking around the room. And then I took a drink of water. Okay. Was it a sin to rifle through a priest's belongings? I'm thinking breaking and entering would be the sin that first happened, but I don't know how haunted hotels work. Look, it's the four-wheeled bike. Uh, oh, let's go to the priest's room. So, oh, uh, the one with the stupid flashlight. Okay, so the walls in here do in fact look like that, but on the floor it's like toys and weird furniture and skull. I guess that's kind of creepy. Lion. Oh, and you a stamp, too. Stamp. Knife. Scissors. Scissors. Guitar. Oh. Ah! There comes the person banging on the door, even though I have a note up that says, Don't bang on my door. I wonder if I ignore them, if they'll go away. Probably not. Oh, maybe they did. Wow. Might want to try that more often. I have three kids. They are all very loud. And it is their bedtime. It's not a gun. That's a cannon. Oh, there's a gun. has lots of random animals in it too. An ice cream. Is that the only thing I need? No. Okay, let's see. Old phone. Nope, that's a camera. Oh, there's a turtle. <coughs> let's see. Boomerang. And a yellow bottle. Olive oil. 
dish, a palette, palette, an iron, magic lamp. Do I need a magic lamp? No. Plunge your watch, old phone. Old phone! Dude, all the phones in this are old. Even when this was made, all the phones in this were old. And, a, a ma and there's another person knocking on the door. I, I know it's you. What do you want? You want what? Hold on a moment. I need a spell that hides my door when it's closed. That's a thing, right? Alright, what was I doing? An iron and a shoe. An iron and a shoe. And a boomerang, a match, and a watch. Oh, there's a match. That was a good hiding place. Uh, and I saw a boomerang and a watch. I didn't see the boomerang at all. I thought I saw the watch. No boomerang, no watch. What's that? Oh, that's a snake, I think. Shotgun. See what I mean about all the weapons in this place? There's a watch. I think I was looking for a wristwatch. Boomerang, boomerang. Nope, that could be a boomerang, but it's not. Boomerang, boomerang, shoomerang. Oh, I thought that was part of the box. Doi. And let's see, let's do the stairs. And an airplane. And the Buddha again. And a bat and a rat and a ball. A bat and a rat and a ball. Is that a rat? Yep. And a ball. And a bat. Is that a bat? No, that's an axe. Oh, I use that anyway. Okay. Works for me. Oh, I'm whistling again. Yes. Butterfly, baseball glove, shuttlecock, a birdie, a banana, a bat, and a lighter. Okay. Bat? Is that a, no, it's a shotgun. Oh, there's a bat. No. Oh, it was a bat. That's not actually a bat. That's a billy club. <laughs> or a baton. Lighter. I didn't see a lighter. Nope. No lighter. Lighter was the one in the other room I couldn't find because it was taken really weird. I wonder if it's the same one in this room. Probably not. A lighter? That's a flashlight! Jeez. Even I know the difference between a flashlight and a lighter. One uses electricity and one uses fire. Well, oh, we're back in the, uh, the Jason room. Am I doing that right? I think. Mask. Nope, that's a skull. Alright, let's see. Spoon, a satchel, and a shuttlecock, which is a birdie. That's a satchel, huh? Okay. Soccer ball, binoculars. Oh, there's a clue. No, I don't want to do that right now. 
glasses, parasol, doll. Oh, that's a kitty cat. That's a figurine. Oh, nope, that's a doll. Pretty sure in another room that was a figurine. No, so I need a bottle and a spoon and a mask. But I didn't see the mask. I mean, that's a mask, but that's not what I'm talking about. Unless that's a cactus. Oh, it's a cactus. Oh, there's a spoon. That's the same spoon I couldn't find in the last room. The last time we were in here. Stupid game. Oh, we're back in the in the dark. Okay, accordion. Hourglass. No whistling. Okay, a vase. Or a vase, if you would rather. Box gloves. I assume that means boxing gloves. There we go. No, that's not boxing gloves, really? That's not boxing gloves. Oh, no, they're there. Pot fishing reel. Is that a fishing reel? That's a fishing pole. Toy car, the toy car. Phone. Phone. And a cabbage. Oh, I'm done. Oh, I forgot to find the next right. Yay, it's the energy game. Here we go. Imagine if you had to do this in real life because some sort of weird fog was changing. There is no explanation as to why I'm doing this either. How did I do that time? I think I did better. Oh, I got higher. Oh, I got a steady even 50%. That's the best I've done so far. Well, in this game, anyway. Let's do word machine. Impossible is the word of the day. Uh huh. Good job. Uh. Also, you'd think if you missed, you'd be able to catch something on the way back up, but no. I mean, left. Suddenly, the door blew open and in swirled the fog, extinguishing the candles. And in an instant, in an instant, with a frozen gust, as it poured more and more of itself inside, like the sand of a giant hourglass. I backed up against the wall, certain that this would be my doom. Then the earth began to shake. It started just. It started as just a shudder, but within moments, the desk and other pieces of furniture began to shake violently, and the walls groaned. Crosses fell to the floor, and candles were knocked over on their shelves, while I myself trembled from within and pressed myself harder against the wall. I believed beyond a doubt for a moment that I was to meet a violent end, but then I heard the voice of something comforting and good. The cat was mewing at my feet. It brushed my ankles until I knew it, until it knew I until it knew it had my attention, then bolted out of the room. 
I followed without hesitation, leaping through the tail of the fog that was pouring into the room. I was covered with frost when I came out the other side and felt frostbitten everywhere the mist had touched my skin. But I didn't let this slow me down as I followed the cat. It stopped by a door and gave me a knowing look as if telling me to go inside, but the room was locked. And again, I looked to the cat for guidance, but it mewed again and I knew that I absolutely had to get inside. I backed up across the hallway and took a running start for the door and slammed into it with my shoulder, forcing it open with a loud crack. Uh, I think we did all of these rooms. Just winter, spring, summer, and fall. They're all here. The gang's all here. Oh, that's another clue. All right, let's see. Trumpet, candelabra, microscope. All right, now we need an angel. A weird Santa. A four-wheeled bicycle. A ladybug. Ladybug. Well, I think that'd be easy to find. Somebody knocked at the door. No, they didn't. That was in game. Somebody booped at the door that time. <laughs> Gramophone. Drum. Or. Boop. There's the boots. And the ladybug. Why do I see the ladybug? Is that it? No. Is that it? No. Ooh, it's a bright red dot. You figured that'd be easy to find. Is that it? Oh, I was one off. That's annoying. Okay, so we did winter, then we do spring. Uh, is that some sort of generator or engine? And a briefcase. And a kitty cat. Toast. A lantern. A boomerang. I don't know why there's so many boomerangs in this game either. Unless it's from Australia, but I think it's European, the company that did this. I might be wrong, though. You never know. Unless you look it up, which I forgot to do. Let's see, a pump, a photo, present with an egg on top of it for some reason, mask, a broom. Okay, so where's the lantern? There it is. And we have winter, spring, summer, ice bag. That's like the kind of bag you put ice in rather than a bag of ice. I'll trump it again. Hand prints. And what's that supposed to be? A mirror? Picture? A razor, a letter, and a turtle. Another turtle. Nope, that's a cat, not a turtle. What is a turtle? Letter, I assume. A rifle. That was me cracking my knuckles. I don't know if you heard that. I actually don't know which to hear or not because I didn't actually get a chance to listen the thing I streamed last night. I mean, I listened to it for a minute, but I didn't listen to the whole thing. Cannon. A lot of cannons in this one. Too. Ice cream. Hungry. No, I'm not. I just want ice cream. Daisy. Okay, a rifle and a razor. Too many weapons. Oh, there's the rifle in this hotel. Is that it? No, it's part of the magnifying glass. Oh, there's the razor right in front of me. I don't know what that was. Hmm. So, I need to click 
the button. <laughs> I knew that. Winter, spring, summer, fall. This room is prettiest, but there's a dripping puddle and it drives me crazy. Key. A curved dagger. A policeman's hat. And a bow. That's a weird assortment of things. Oh, I can find the ravens again. Doop. Doop. Even though they're all in the same place. Oh, maybe they're not. I thought they were. Teapot. Dice. Weather vane. Weather vane. Cup. Oh, there's the other raven. A cork. There's the dice. I guess that's a die, not a dice, but I think that would confuse people. Gas mask. A mask mask. Still don't know what that is. Flower. So we need a phone, a cork, and a mask. Phone. That's just the receiver of a phone. Up there's a cork. I think I saw that like four times. And a mask. There's a mask. Did I cut out there? I think I cut out there. Um, oh, I clicked on the, the artist. I guess that's the one we're doing next. Slippers. Scissors. Well, that doesn't look appropriate. What the hell is that supposed to be? Okay, well, let's uh, just ignore that one for a moment. Um, a pin, a satchel, and a spider. Well, there's a spider. I'm good at finding spiders. Because now it's blinking. That's even less appropriate. Um, I'm good at finding spiders because I just like spiders. Like, they're just too not... Okay. <laughs> and I like that they eat other bugs because I'm not a big fan of bugs in general. And they're allowed to be outside. They're even allowed to be inside as long as I can't see them. There could be a hundred spiders behind me right now. And I don't care as long as I never see or feel them. They can live wherever they want. A spider's natural habitat is any place I am not currently. Oh, there's a blue. No, I do not want to do it now. Alright, so I need a pin and a satchel. What kind of pin, I wonder? Oh, there's a satchel. Oh, wait! It's a flashlight. That is a flashlight. Okay. That was... Sure. Now <laughs> I need a pin. That's not a pin, it's a clothes pin. They aren't pins. It's to pin something. It's not actually a pin. Right. Helmet, car, and I think that's a lock for a safe. Golf ball, clock, dice. Melt those are dominoes. Dominoes are like flat dice, except not. More ice cream. This game has a lot of ice cream in it. Which I wouldn't mind, except I don't have any ice cream right now. There's that burger that's definitely not a burger and more likely a ham sandwich on a bun. Iron. Belt. I saw the belt. Where's the belt? Dang it. I forget where I saw it. Um, soldering iron. And a racket. They say racket, they mean ping pong racket. There's a soldering iron. So we need a light bulb and a belt. <laughs> Do you ever read something and then realize when you got to like the next paragraph that you hadn't actually read any of it? I do that with 
sometimes when I'm looking for stuff. Oh. Let's do Word Machine first because it's a conspiracy. I kind of like the music in this game, but the sound effect leaves something to be desired. Not this game as in the word game, just like the whole haunted hotel game in general. Some games have music that is not good. But this one's not bad, considering how old it is. But man, I could do with a different sound effect there, couldn't you? Alright, let's do match three. Let's see if we can do. Oh, now we have paintbrushes for art supplies. Super combo! feel less impressed by my talents when I know that it was just stuff for dropping from the ceiling that got me the points. <laughs> like you can get through the whole thing with it just like doing it for you. Ultimate combo! But that's what comes with only having Four, one, two, three, yeah, four different um, game pieces, I guess you would say. Until this point in my history, I would never have been able to do this game, thank by the way, because my last office, such as it was, was in my kitchen. And that would not have worked out well, generally speaking, way on this one. Uh, oh, wow, okay. I thought it was kind of tough to move it. Oh, cup of water time. Everybody staying adequately hydrated because hydration is important, especially when the world is on fire. Jeez, I've been recording for a really long time. I had totally meant to only do this for an hour. All right, well, let me just finish, I guess. There was a staircase behind that door. The floor above me had been cut away, and the stairs rose up to a door... To a door a room to a door a room on the next floor. I ran up the stairs and tried to turn the handle, but it was held shut by a security lock. I pressed the enter button, hoping that the lock was not set. But then something strange happened. It played a sequence of lights and sounds. Okay. At the bottom of the stairs I could feel the cold growing stronger as the fog moved back out into the hall, and I knew it wouldn't be long before it came for me again. So I turned my attention back to the code and concentrated on re-entering the exact sequence that it played when I touched it. Success! The lock on the door made a very satisfying click and allowed me to push it open to get myself and the cat into what appeared to be the attic. All around the room, particles of light flashed from clouds that swirled amongst the rafters. There was a terrible howl that I thought came from the mighty wind circling the room. But the more I listened, the clearer the howl became, until I realized I was hearing screams. Horrified, I looked to the center of the room as the lightning flashed, brightly revealing the figure standing there, the priest. And now we have to search through rooms. It could have been, like, strung together better, I think. But... I mean, they have a very limited format back then, so I guess they kind of did the best with what they had. Alright, let's see, a sewing machine, and an umbrella, an umbrella, and a happy mask. Alright, let's see, gramophone, that's not a gramophone. 
I wonder if it's a record player. Whatever. A pot. Um, stars and eraser. Stars. Eraser. A trumpet and two gas cans. That's not a good thing to have in the attic. I mean, the trumpet probably doesn't make a difference, but certainly shouldn't have gas cans in the attic. There's a gas can. And there's another one. Oh, there's a pop. Uh, let's see. A 57. I think that's the year it's supposed to be taking place, by the way. Uh, that kind of missed the first... It, well, no. It was in the first version. But for first episode, sure. We'll call it that. But y'all didn't see it. There we go. And a wrench and matches. Matches. A wrench and an axe. That is not an axe. That is a cleaver. Do I need a saw? No. Frying pan, a wrench, and an axe. Yeah, there's way too many weapons in this hotel. Let's see, oh, there's the wrench. There's a knife, and a cleaver, and a handgun. And I think that's a shotgun. <clears throat> that's enough, just that. What am I looking for? I already forgot. X. Still not the X. That's an or. Or what? Ho ho ho. Ooh, what that's supposed to be. Oh, it's a puzzle. There's a saw. A saw and an X are similar, sort of. I do not see the X. Bah humbug. Oh! Okay. I did not see that properly. Alright, I guess we'll do the basement since we just did the attic, because that makes perfect sense. Film thing. Saw, and I think that's a slate. Accordion. Pump. in this game, well, actually, it's probably hard for me to find them because I can't see <laughs> because everything's so tiny on my side. I don't know how big things are or how you're looking at them. I suppose if you're watching on your phone, they're really tiny. Uh, okay. Oh, this is not a stage, it's a shovel, but I remember that from the last time I played. Because... No, well, that's technically a bell. Uh, let's see, a map and books. There's the books, there's the map. Uh, two flashlights. One, two, two keys. One, I don't know where the other key is, right off the top. Cone. And a flower. Where's the pearly flower? Okay, so a pen, a bell, a brick. I know where the brick is. A pen, a bell, a flower, and a key. Okay, so let's see. Pen. There's a key. There's a pen. See what I mean, though? That's kind of hard to see there. I mean, I know that's the intention and all, but let me just ball. Oh, wait. That's... Oh, no. Bell, not ball. There's a bell. And a flower. Where's the flower? I'm quitting seer. No. Hitting seer, quinking silently, and oaking lap this pretty flower. And I don't see a flower. Do you all see a flower there? That's not a flower. It's a flower pot. And it's definitely a green plant. because I guess those are in between the attic and the basement. <laughs> Though, I, the only stairs, you would think that instead of going up the elevator, he could have just taken the scare, stairs down if he was that concerned about the 
crazy that something's happening. I'm pretty sure even haunted hotels have to have stairs or the fire department gets mad at them. Toy car. Toy car. Oh, there's a clue. Doll head. No, I don't. Doll head. Matches. Matches. Rolling pin. I just saw it. A nut. A phone. A banana. A skull. A lemon. And an hourglass. Ta-da! Alright, let's see. Let's do the artist first. Oh, the phone is ringing. No. Another compass. A compass and a rose. A compass rose. Ha ah. And a shaving brush. And a keyhole rather than a key. Okay, there we go. A dagger. A lemon. A coffee cup and an umbrella. There's the umbrella. Clock. A lantern. A bow. What kind of bow is it? Oh, there's a bow. Footprint or handprint? No, footprint. Is the footprint on the wall? Oh, the footprint's not on the wall. Handprint is on here. Huh, I wonder where the footprint is if it's not on the wall. Oh, it's on a painting. That's close enough to wall. Coins, band-aid, hand. You would think that the band-aid being stuck to random things um, is weird, but I assume that wherever that happens, the person has a child, and when they're done with their band-aid, they just stick it to random things, because that's what some of my children do. Which is gross, just so we're clear. Let's do the writer. There's that plant that's a flower. Game. A milk carton? Not a good thing to have on your shelf. Scroll. Newspaper. BBQ fork. Do do. Umbrella. Art doll. Oh, this is the art doll. It's one of those posable mannequins. Final record. Turtle. There's a frog. Oh, there's a turtle. Woman's shoe. I assume they mean women's shoe. Notebook. Notebook. A die. Oh, that's how you call it a die. They call it a dice in the other rooms. A hat. And two keys. One. Uh. Uh, that's two. Oh, they were right next to each other. Weird. Alright, the engineer's room. I wonder if this is the last one. I don't remember. Round. Alright, I'm not going to look for a round thing in here. Okay, let's see. Golf ball scissors one way. There's the one way. And the scissors. What else? Lemon. Radiation. Flyers. Oh, there's a plot. Oh, no! I did the thing! Stupid. So, again, I I told you that I had half the thing. I hope that didn't mess everybody up. My screen is like a quarter of the screen, but it's also over top of the uh, player that I'm using to record it, so I can see part of the screen, like, from here to here, to here, like all of that is doubled on my screen, and I just clicked on the pliers on the uh, wrong screen. <laughs> to figure out how that works. I have not been doing this very long. In fact, I've been doing it for 24 hours. <laughs> Little over 24 hours. Um, and now I'm not looking for anything. There we go, horseshoe. Clock. Wrench. Wrench 
trench, 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 trench. Pipe. I assume they mean smoking pipe. Don't smoke, kid. It's bad for you. I'm surprised they don't have to have warnings on those. I know that a lot of um, Disney movies and stuff put warnings that smoking is bad for you on anything that has smoking in it. Which I guess is a good idea. Oh, there's a pipe right there. This is not a pipe. Flyers. Oh, I never clicked on the flyers the second time. <clears throat> Alright, come on, we gotta finish this up. This is all kind of, Oh yeah, this is definitely the last one. I remember because you have to do all the mini games before you can go up. Coming to the end here. What's gonna happen? Ah. Wow, I'm not doing good at all this time. Oh, for heaven's sake. Ah! Don't you make fun of me? You didn't try this. It's hard. <laughs> That's bad. Looks like hit percentage. Oh, it hits percentage is 50. Okay, That's not terrible. <laughs> Alright, what should we do first? Let's do the puzzle first because it's the longest. See, here's another blurry picture. But again, the caps will be clear. And again, there's like a sad man in it. I don't know. Maybe whoever made this is really depressed or something. I need to find the corners. Alright, there we go. One corner. And if they did make these paintings up just for this game, which somehow I doubt, why wouldn't they just make the whole thing a painting? Why make it, like, blurred out, but then make the cat actually, like, visible? Isn't that a little weird? I'm probably putting way too much thought into this game. Why can't I send it far? Fine. You go somewhere up here, don't you? Whatever. How about this one? There we go. Sounds like an elevator bell. Back when elevators had bells. Well, I suppose some elevators still have bells if they're older elevators. Did you know there's freaking elevators that don't stop moving? I forget what they're called. It's like the craziest thing. There's like one that goes up and one that goes down, and you just like step on and off it. That's insane. I don't know that I trust anyone enough to actually have done something like that. I assume they don't make them like that anymore because lots of people got squished. Or at least injured. that I'm going to stop in reality. I'm just not going to do it. Or try not to do it while I'm streaming. See, look how clear the cat is. And look how um, impression-y the dude is. So weird. At least I think it's weird. It's possible all y'all think I'm insane. Which, you know, to be fair, Probably also true. I mean, 
I do have like definite insanity. Most of them are medicated though. Yay for mental health issues. Also yay for taking your meds. Make sure you take your meds, guys. Alright, this takes forever. I mean, it's not a bad mini game, but if, if, like, if I only had to do it once, it wouldn't be so bad. But having to do it like once a floor, kind of aggravating. I guess it wasn't one floor, it was more like one every other floor. I totally go there. And go there. Do you guys like to make puzzles in your free time? Now that everyone has all the free time in the universe? We used to make puzzles all the time when we were kids. Because we didn't have cable. Like, not that I wasn't born before cable. I'm sure it might have been. But, um, my parents didn't have cable for a while, like in the late 80s, early 90s. And then also in like mid 80s, we moved around a lot, so. Come on, this is an easy part of the puzzle. Get with it. There we go. Yay, I finished the puzzle. Now we'll do word machine because I hit it. Occurrence. thing about these minigames is you don't actually have to win them to progress. Like, why bother putting them in if you don't actually have to beat them? It seems like kind of a waste of everyone's time. Good night, Amber. They have the Shabbat elevator still? What's a Shabbat elevator? Those are ones that just open and close on every floor. I actually knew that. That's not, they're actually real elevators, though. Aught punk went too bad. Everybody say goodnight to Aught punk. I'm streaming much longer than I meant to. Yes, I just said that. Except I might not, and I have no idea how long I'm lagging. It's also very annoying that the, um, the little chat thing here doesn't have a timestamp on it, so I don't know when people said things. So if I wasn't paying attention, like, I would have no idea how long it's been if uh, somebody said something. My first experience with, with the Twitch thing. I don't tend to watch streams. Because I get interrupted and I can't actually watch the stream. I have to watch them in retrospect, and then I might as well just watch YouTube videos, <laughs> which is kind of annoying. I assume at some point in my time, my children will stop annoying me about everything, but that's probably just wishful thinking. Oh, yay, finished. Now we need to close up. They will stop when you die. That's not very nice. Also, you made me miss what I'm supposed to be doing. Last try. There we go. If I pay attention, it's easy to finish. Alright, this is probably the last bit. Yep. 
The priest was a silhouette in the center of the room, only discernible when the lightning lit up his cold, empty face. His eyes were as dark as black holes and just as likely to consume everything around them. Above the screams that filled the air, I could hear the cat meowing from a desolate corner of the room as if it was calling to me. Again, it, again I gave it the trust it deserved. After all, it had already done after all it had already done to help me, and pushed my way through the terrible dark wind to the other side of the room. There was a small opening of some sort in the wall that the cat and I crawled into, though I didn't know where it led to. It didn't take more than a moment before I was painstakingly aware that the door the cat had led me through was a garbage chute. It was a long, perilous fall to take, but a large pile of refuse cushioned my fall outside. Once free of the hotel, I jumped to my feet and started running to my car where I had left it by the road sign I had hit. The cat was hot on my heels, determined not to be left behind. Together, we jumped inside. As my feline friend and I sped away, I looked into my rearview mirror and was astonished by what I saw, was so astonished by what I saw that I skidded to a halt and jumped out of my vehicle to stare. Lightning was lighting up the night sky for miles around, allowing me to see that the hotel had vanished. The next morning, I decided to check for records about the hotel at the local library. There was a newspaper article that covered accusations of occult activities against the priest, ending, his, ending in his excommunication from the church. The article also went on to say that the hotel had been demolished rather quickly. Quickly, indeed. The end. Oh, wow, well, I did not even close to be my first high score. <laughs> okay, well, that's because I stopped and talked a whole bunch. Alright, so that was this game. This is the first of the series. I'm going to do the next one as my next Let's Play. So next time I won't go for two hours. Which is crazy, isn't it? Um, and I hope that was fun. And hopefully I can get a better microphone because I'm sure this sounds terrible to listen to. Um, and I guess that's it. I will see all you guys later. And, uh, talk to you later. Bye.